Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is the start of a new um, <laughs> season for Seven Days to Die. Uh, it's 2019. Uh, they came out with um, the new uh, al alpha version 17.1 build eight uh, just two days ago and I'd been taking a break uh, from playing and recording and I've been feeling better I went to the doctor and um, they didn't release me for work but um, I'm doing better so I figured I would give this another shot and try to limit my recordings anyway um, this is the settings, uh, the game name of 17, the Fun Pimp Season 7, and this is West Zuyahe Territory. <laughs> uh, gonna be like the normal settings, uh, Nomad, 120 minute daylight cycle, uh, I put these guys on run, um, and pretty much, you know, all defaults, except I like, I like the airdrops, uh, I like to mark the airdrops in case I can't get to them right away, uh, whatever, <laughs> uh, I really am looking forward to this, and we'll see you guys in the game, um, but no, here we go. Oh yeah, it's starting. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. This is gonna be awesome. Oh no, what <laughs> a burn biome. Oh, well, I guess it's better than the wasteland. Hey, look at this. We started right near a town. Okay, first I'm going to pause uh, the game and we're gonna sort of go over um, a little bit of the the changes that they they've done. Um, <laughs> with this version, they um, this is like I'm reading word for word off of their website. It's uh, to improve stamina, players now start with 150 food, which is now shown in the HUD and menu. To communicate, you can overeat and not waste food. When players' stamina is between 100 and 150, there are no detrimental stamina effects. So that's good to know. And the strength requirements for sexual Tyrannosaurus perk have been lowered and they have made the description clear that it does reduce mining stamina costs because that was one of my questions because uh, it wasn't very clear in the description but I did find out that yes it does um, in w when I was playing without recording in the stable version of Alpha 17, I did discover that, yes, it, it does help. So that's good. Um, and they removed it from the combat perk section to a new section called general strength perks. And they've reduced the stamina cost of all tools and also reduced stone tool stamina penalties. Uh, water now goes to 150% and until the water debuff comes on screen at 75% water, you will experience no stamina regeneration penalties. And one of, uh, <laughs> one of the main things I think is this last part. For builders, we have bolstered experience for harvesting and mining substantially, allowing for support roles to keep up with combat and scavenger roles. And I think that's that's awesome because I love building too. And I I found that 
in my other game I was like you know I could be leveling and getting better experience by killing zombies but you know I really do enjoy building building a base and you know that stuff takes time and you have to gather materials and whatnot so I'm really happy that they did uh, rebalance that so let, let's get on into it and we'll do the things. Um, oh, oh, I just had a look over there. That is the wasteland biome. Look at this. Oh, okay. Well, let's stay on the, the side of the road that's um, not in the wasteland. Holy Jiminy's. Okay, um. Oh, look, a bird's nest. The, the charred biome isn't that bad. I, I don't mind the charred biome at all. I don't like the wasteland because of the dogs. And generally on, on day one, if you get jumped by a dog you're just screwed you're dead you're just dead uh, so come on be a pot no pot <laughs> um that seemed really loud um let's give me a second and to 75 and this looks good this looks like um all my normal settings so everything's good okay I can't believe we started <laughs> right near a town I hope um I'm hoping this is a good map and I don't wind up in <laughs> yet another frozen biome section. Why is my water showing already? Um, that doesn't uh, make me feel very good. Okay. It says on 149. And I really like it that it, uh, I did notice that you could, um, oh, it's, it's like they just, it's like we just drank. That's what that buff is. It, it indicates that we just drank. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm really hoping that I don't wind up, ooh, pain pills in, in another frozen biome. That's where I got stuck last time, uh, in the stable build. And I was really happy with that, that build. I didn't see, um, very many terrain bugs except for on the road, um, it's just everything looked great. I didn't find any floating buildings at all, so I was really happy. <laughs> all right, let's get the the bed roll done. Awesome, and let's go see if we can find a pot in here. No, but I am gonna keep those nails. That is awesome. Oh, 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 yes. Okay, we just got, uh, we just got, we won the game. We can quit playing now. I'm going to just put the torch away. 
awesome. I'm hoping it leads us off that way. <laughs> I really, really do. Okay, a stone axe. Uh, I don't see any gore blocks. Is that one down there? Get our stone axe and see if we can find a gore block to uh, get a, a shiv. Oh, four bucks. Okay, um. Let's, let's stop here and get get our plant fibers. The plant fibers are pretty uh, spread out. And this is a good little patch. We ought to be able to get all our plant fiber needs taken care of very quickly. Um, I am going to try and... Oh, here's another bird's nest, because we're going to need the feathers. Oh, seven feathers. Ah. I was really hoping for a little bit more than that, but I guess it's better than none, yeah? You know, there are still... I've been playing this game a while, and there are still... POIs that I have not gone into. <laughs> so this is I'm I'm hoping to get a, a look at some different POIs and uh, just have a good time. Um oh, I don't see any oh here's another bird's nest. Yes. Six more feathers. Hacha. Um, so I'm really looking forward to, uh, seeing how everything is going to shape up for this game. It looks like they changed it and gave us, uh, some more experience for mining and harvesting. So I'm, uh, I'm a little curious as to how that's going to play out. So let's look at this. We're just going to mine this whole rock and see how much experience this gives us. Oh, and it looks like they've reduced. Wow, look at that. Uh, <laughs> normally on the first day, you had already been taking a break by now, going, <sighs> <sighs> so this is a huge, huge thing. Look at that. We've already gotten over almost 200. There we go. 200 experience for this. Um, we're still going. Oh, this is so awesome. Uh, gathering was such a pain uh, before this. Oh, look at, come on, get forward. Let's see how it compares to uh, one zombie. Because the last I checked, uh, one zombie kill, a normal one, was like 550. Oh, we ran out. So it's at 342 on the experience. see how is it gonna go it looks like it's gonna be about 400 yeah about 400 for one of those stones which isn't too bad at all let's see what we get for uh, killing this tree well I know that hard to like 
keep a balance because once you get to where you're using an auger or a chainsaw, the experience will increase so much because you spend less time chopping down a tree. So this is, um, it's not near as much for a tree it looks like as it is for a rock but that sort of makes sense because you can plant replant the trees so it looks like maybe half oh it looks like we got a big boost to experience right there at the end uh, but that's okay now we're gonna go ahead and favorite these things while we're here. There we go. We've got our club. I'm just going to go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make all of those. And there we have it. Um, the wood frames, no problem. Um, where are you? Let's go ahead and make like 10. There we go. That's going to take a minute, so let's sort of look around. Maybe we'll come over here to this little house and see what's going on. I really like that they changed that. Um, yeah, that was really nice. <laughs> ah, did, the jumping sound seems just very loud. Oh uh, no, I want you over here. To put it right at the middle of this intersection because why not? I can't believe I haven't seen a gore block or an animule or something. All right, let's get our campfire going. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I've I've been bad and I've gotten back into the habit of using my scroll wheel instead of the hotkeys. No, normally I use it. Oh, yeah, look at that. That jump sound is so loud. I wonder if there No. Did I hit I really don't want to reduce the sound um, for the game because I want to be able to hear the zombies, but at the same time, holy cow, that was loud. <laughs> okay, so now we're 1.2 kilometers away from the trader. Here it is. I'm so happy that it's at least on the map. Uh, where's my little trader icon? There we go. So I guess we're going to go up this road because it looks like it might head right near it. To Yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so back the way we came through the town. It might be on the other side of town, I bet. So... Let me get this loaded. There we are. And we're going to be prepared for if we see a gore block. <laughs> Hopefully we'll, we'll see one. And we can get a shiv so we don't... Um, is, 
this is like the first one I looted, isn't it? Yeah. We already got the pot, so. Game one. I'm really hoping to see uh, some improvements on the road. Because that was like the worst. The worst thing was the, the road terrain generation. Uh, it just was horrid in some spots. I mean, the, uh, it just seemed to, I don't know, be very... Oh, look. Neither one of those are open. That's okay. I'll still take the feathers, man. Oh, look. Oh, oh, oh. We're gonna have to go over there. That looks like it could be a blueberry or a potato patch. Ooh, bird's nest. Which would be very helpful. Looks like blueberries. Let's just go ahead and snag all of those. Oh yeah! Give me them blueberries. Uh, I'm just gonna scrap those for now. I'm hoping to actually wind up in a biome <laughs> it is in the snow biome. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, it seems like every game that I've made since Christmas has... I wound up in a snow biome. And, I mean... I guess it's okay once you get the clothes and you don't have to worry about it. I think the only thing that really saved me was the Santa hat. Hat, the Santa hat was awesome. It was, uh, gives you, you know, if you have the puffer coat and the Santa hat, you're good. You're just good. Uh, lots of cold resists on those. So I was able to, uh, you know, not have any problems with the cold once I had those things. Uh, but it's, you know... Oh, it's such a pain to have to worry about it. Uh, although it it is a lot better in my opinion than it used to be in like Alpha 16 where... Oh, there's a core block. Um, where you're just constantly having to freaking change clothes. <laughs> I don't like that. Awesome. Now we're set. We're set bring it trader um, well it's really nice that the town is here hopefully it's a pretty big town or there's another one close by the the trader we really lucked out in the last season and uh, got that huge like metropolis of a town and the trader was like right next to it and we were getting um, we were getting missions that were a couple of hundred meters away and that was that was amazing I really like that it's nothing like uh, my my stable world where I was just out in the middle of the boonies where the trader was and see this looks a lot better while this edge right here is a little bit steep um, the generation for this looks so much better than before that yeah none of the the angles seem too steep except for you know this one right here looks pretty good looks it looks a lot better. I had uh, had some really bad terrain gen in uh, in my last world. It was mainly where the roads were in the mountains, or 
it wasn't necessarily mountainous area just just some changes to elevation yeah I really I really like that um, okay Wow the town looks pretty big and it looks like they've got some uh, signs going on it's not just residential like <laughs> That one town we were in, it was mostly just houses. Uh, but this, this looks like it's got some uh, some shops. <laughs> oh, dude, I missed my first power attack. That's no good. That's no good. Ooh, a car. Look at that. So I remember when you're playing Alpha 16, the cars were so awesome to loot because you could get a chance that you'd have a mining helmet in it. And I haven't seen a mining helmet drop in I don't know how long. It's, it's really sad because that was like one of my favorite things <laughs> about, about looting the cars was to the off chance that I would get the mining helmet. All right. Um. Oh, look. At you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> A snow biome. Honestly. It in in my preference of biomes I would say that the, <laughs> the snow biome would be up there in you know I would prefer the forest biome and if I can't get that the pine forest which I, I that's what I'm gonna call it it's um it's like the forest, only it has... Oh, I hear that. I hear you. You're not gonna take me alive! <laughs> I think that's the point, isn't it? That they're not gonna take me alive. Anyway, the, the forest biome, the pine forest, and then the frozen biome. And I think the charred biome... I don't know, maybe it's a tie between the charred and the frozen. Because uh, there's nothing really wrong with the charred biome, I don't think. Other than it's freaking charred. <laughs> and you have to hear the constant crackling of the fire zombies. The burning dudes. Of course, the, the frozen biome is equally annoying with the the chin <sighs> he makes like a <sighs> sound or something so yeah um, I really like to settle next to the trader oh come on come on Plus, you know, these guys are worth a little bit more experience, so as long as I don't take any... Oh, there's two of them. Dude, one game I had to run through um, the, uh, the wasteland biome, and oh man, I wound up having like eight vultures on me when I was done and I was like I, I didn't stop to kill anything I was so scared I was like oh as soon as I take one bit of damage all eight of those guys are gonna jump me and just kill me and the last thing I wanted to do was run naked through <laughs> the wasteland biome to get all my stuff back so I just kept running and running and running 
and because my trailer was like three kilometers away and it was, it was oh no 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 okay I'm not bleeding oh here he comes oh batter up I hate those stupid vultures here it comes here it comes oh no I missed Oh, dude. Vultures are the worst. Well, they're they're not as bad as dogs, I don't think, but Oh. Stay down. Oh, I missed. I'm gonna go ahead and skin these just to get the feathers. I haven't been getting very many feathers at all, so this will be good. There we go. Uh, hopefully there'll be maybe some cotton around. Ooh, I don't see any. It's going right into the forest biome. We're going to go ahead and get the four block. I mean, not the forest, the frozen biome. Oh, man. Whew. See, I, I, I think this could be a problem because I'm not sure if there is still, um, like, the, the Santa Claus hat in this version is that I think that's the traitor right there um, yes it is awesome um, oh there's so many chins Mr. Chin! Oh! No touching! Please! Oh! No, no, no! So I'm not sure if, like, the, the, the charred biome, is it considered, like, hot? like the wasteland and the desert because i know i've had problems with heat in the wasteland uh, but not really i've not really seen it in um in the charred biome this is a cool little poi here There's like a huge cavern underneath. I'm gonna go ahead and get this working stiff crate. It's easy, it's like right here. waste my bandage and it made me sick little punk so that's good that that you can like overeat too I've, I've sort of noticed that ooh wasn't what I was hoping for but I won't say no to it for sure. Get some free wood. It's not really free if I'm smacking it, I guess. Um, which one's the front? Oh, one of the good things I like about the snow biome is that you can see all the rocks in the bird nest. 
Oh, I can't get that one. So, it looks like we're in a forest biome. I mean, not a forest, a frozen biome. That looks like desert over there. And there's charred and wasteland nearby. Oh, be a friendly neighbor and check your mail. Take out the trash for you. There we go. Let's see what this guy has to offer. In ways of extra loot. Oh, I wish I could loot that plastic. One water. We're going to need those pipes for a forge. I really like it. Um, we'll need to look at at the skills as well. Oh, shit. I really hate it that they're so noisy. Ooh, we got one of those guys to sell. Oh, double cowboy boots. Yeah. And a couple of duct tape. That is awesome. All right, let's go see if he's got any machines for us. Um, I believe one of these has a cement, there we go, the cement mixer. Oh, and it works too, nice. The cement mixer is functional. I've gone through the trader and a lot of the times everything's just broken. Everything's broken. The chemistry station's broken, so we'll just leave that shut. See if he has, uh, sometimes there are containers in there that you can loot them. Not often. Okay, this one's the forge. Come on, be a working forge. Oh, it's not a working forge. Bum deal. All right, so I think all we need is, oh, the desk is not lootable. Dang it. Oh, there are so many zombies out there wanting to eat my brains. It's no good, okay. Check the workbench. Come on. Aw. Oh. Okay, so... Are these worth... Oh, yeah. I think I'll s sell those to him. Yeah, I didn't... Totally didn't find this in your base. Two bullets. Two bullets, really? And nothing. Nothing in the trash can. Try to be a neighbor and take your trash out for you and you just have it empty. <laughs> hey Trader Bob, how's it going? You got any jobs? Oh my goodness. All of those are like five and four and three kilometers away. Bob, seriously, do you not look and see there's a whole town around you that you could do, man? This is crazy. Okay, I guess I'm gonna take the first one. I, I wonder if there's um, a penalty? Like, remove quest? Because that would suck if you get all these jobs that are so far away and then you can't do any of them because, I mean, who's going to spend like two days walking to some place just to have to walk back? 
Let's um, let's get rid of all the fives, and then we'll let's see what he's doing. See what he's got. If he's got anything good. All right. Let's see. Did we get anything we could sell? Oh, we got the cowboy boots. And this. Um, Go back actually, and get new goods daily. We got our four points, but I really don't. Um, I guess we could send it, spend it on the better barter. Why not? Uh, but the, uh, I definitely want to put boom headshot. Um. And, okay, let's look at this. Specialize in unleashing a relentless assault of blows guaranteed to leave your prey slack-jawed at your unyielding stamina. You don't have to regen back the stamina that you don't use up. Aha. Uh -huh. This says reduce melee and tool stamina usage by 5%. Awesome. So, general strength perks. I like it. And they put pack mule under there. And construction perks down here. Awesome. So that looks swell. Let's go ahead and buy sexual tyrannosaurus. And... The mother load. Alright, and let's, let's talk to Bob again. Uh... We'll go ahead and sell the boots. We're actually going to wear these. So let's sell these land mines. Oh, it's 29 each. Yes. That is awesome. Um, can you sell these? Three per? Seriously. I'll sell those. Heck yeah. Oh, we got some cloth too. I need to make some bandages. What about this headlight? Oh yeah, I'm gonna sell that. Here we go. Oh, we made a level and we got another skill point. That is sweet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spend that in the Miner 69er. And I'm probably going to focus on the strength just to help with uh, gathering and melee because that's where I seem to have the most um, problems with the stamina. Um, oh yeah, we have this to sell as well. Living, although... Living off the land. That could, that could keep me from having to actually spend that initial point. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. I think later on, uh, it could be beneficial, but for right now, I just need the money. I need the money and the space, and we got four bucks to sell. Oh, and they start off at two each. Awesome, I like it. Now, let's see if he has anything useful. Oh, look at that. I don't have enough. That's really good to put into your shovel. That's like getting an extra level you do uh, against dirt because dirt is really painful to start off. And the cooling mesh. Oh, I love me some mods. Cement. We can't afford the cement. Oh, look at that. Improved fittings. That reduces mobility penalty by 2%. And a scope. Oh. I 
love the mods. I love the mods. I want more. A puffer coat. I would love me a puffer coat, dude. Give me a puffer coat. Oh man, look at that iron pickaxe. That is sweet. Let's see. Oh, he's got cobblestone rocks and a thousand wood. Are you kidding me? Holy schmoly. I think I would want to buy this. 190. Heck yes. Heck yeah. Oh, and he's got more. Doesn't leave a lot for the wood, but we'll buy what we can. 950. Uh-huh. Okay. I wish it would give you, when you do that, if it would give you the max, you know, that you could buy with your current amount. I don't think we can do 200. Yeah, we're five short. Can you sell those? Yeah, mm, I don't know. Those are kind of... I don't want to sell my boots. Oh, they made it where you could sell the cans again? Alright, well... There we go. Get 200 free wood? Well, it's not technically free, but you know what I mean, man. We're still encumbered, and I actually... It's been a real pleasure. Yeah, I know. You want yourself out there. So let's get our bandages, because, man, that'll really mess us up if we can't stop the bleeding. Oh, those guys. So that was... Ah! That was useful. Why can't I go out... Okay, it won't let me out. It's a trap. <laughs> ah, okay, let's try ducking. No, no. Oh, phew. got out. All right, I don't know if I want to kill all these chins. Um, I've already seen all of these. Okay. Oh, dude. Let's get out before we have to, like, fight 10 million dudes. Okay. This is a an easy little POI. Let's see if we can find a a nice flat area nearby or a POI to settle down in. We got a bunch of cobblestone. That should help a lot. Um, where's my wood frames? Let's go ahead and make. Oh, and I want to wear these. Gives us a little bit of cold protection. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and make like, I don't know, 25 arrows. That would be good. We got a pot. Uh, we also got nails and duct tape and pipes. I have not seen an animal besides a freaking vulture. 
Um, generally you don't see a lot of animals in in the cold biome. Maybe a bunny every now and then, but yes, yeah, I would definitely like something nearby the trader because I definitely want to come back. There's a town right here. Pretty substantial road. This isn't one of the small ones that runs through town. This is one of the big uh, interstate highways. Oh, seriously? Um, I'm just going to scrap those. I think that's 34 for five of them. We do have a town, but man, that is, um, that's pretty far away from the trader. So let's have a look around and see if maybe we should go on the other side. <laughs> There's another POI over there. Okay, um, after this one, I'm probably going to start uh, the videos at, instead of like the four o'clock in the morning, maybe do uh, six or eight. Oh, no touching. Encumbered. Wow. So, like, he's he looks to be in you know a pretty centralized location. Like, there's the town that we came from, wasn't it? And there's another one over there that looks uh, pretty awesome. Lots of places around to loot. Come on, Mr. Chin. Um, I'm curious as to what... Oh, I thought it was a POI. I guess it's just trees. I really hate being encumbered when I fight these guys because uh, they're pretty fast. Get really hard so <laughs> yeah you gotta really get get out of reach of those guys because it hurts when they hit you all right I think let's go check out this POI oh oh we need supper Oh, come on. Oh, whew. That is so scary when you're not sure if you're going to get it killed before he munches on you. Awesome. Oh, 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 oh. That's a good point to spend off the bat. Oh, and I don't, I don't have it. Can't get the Master Chef. I forgot. Oh. Okay, well, we're going to have to hope we get another level before it comes time to eat. Oh, there's one of those houses, too. Um... 
this one of those? Lumberjack houses? I'm not sure. Um, but I do know that I really don't want to go in fighting zombies while I'm encumbered. So let's make like a little chest. Oh. Shoot storage. Awesome. Okay. Let's get this put down over here. Uh, let's just throw a bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, I think uh, we can throw those in there. good I think that's good we have it we're we're doing all right I really like it that they had, gave me that little bit of extra food buffer um, to help out in the beginning because look uh, it's like we already went to the trader was that a wolf We already went to the trader and everything, and we still don't need to eat or drink, and I think that is awesome. Oh, that was a wolf. Holy Jiminy. That looks like a big dire wolf as well. Holy schmacaronis. I don't think I should be taking on a dire wolf. Maybe we can tag him, run over to the trader. from the inside. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. He's still coming. Oh! <laughs> Sucker! Let's see, can I hit him? He, only when he sticks his head through. So we're actually gonna have to shooting. Oh man, <laughs> I'm so glad we're near the trader because I was scared to go in that house knowing that he was... Oh look at you, you got arrows in your face. That was a good plan. That was a good, good, solid plan. Um, I thought I heard a piggy sound. Oh well, let's go back over. If I see him, I'll deal with him. Oh, is this a bag? I like, I like finding random bags. Oh, paint, paint.
Come on, Mr. Chin. Oh, yeah, some more nails. All right. I believe we're ready. I think that guy might be okay over there. Oh, it's locked. I think, I think the one from the front <coughs> is, is open. Or unlocked. Let's go see. So I'd prefer not to have to make a whole lot of noise. Oh, it's locked too. Confound it. Okay, let's see. Um, this isn't... Oh, this is, this is the lumberjack. I wonder if it's going to have the table saw in there. Oh, sweet. It, it does have a table saw. And this will be a good source of cloth. Sleepy time, little zombert. I will tell you a sleepy bye story. Nobody sneaks up on me. Oh, let's get rid of this. What? Make me waste two arrows. Nikes. Snikes. Ah! Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Okay, we can do this. <laughs> I love it when they have arrows sticking out of their heads. It's just, uh, it's a very comical. Yeah, this is the one that has, like, a ladder up there. You just can't, can't get around. Whoa! When you jump up there, you, you make a noise. So any zombies that are up there, and there's usually, like, three or four, they freaking eat your face off. <coughs> See? Oh, I missed. Idiot. Oh, 
Oh, I missed. Zombies over here to the right. I mean the left. No. Awesome. Okay, we did it. I hope there's a coat in here. Oh. We already have the cowboy boots, but we'll take that. That's like plus ten. It'll do us for now. Oh, uh, we might save those 18 to sell. I mean, there isn't really a lot of options to sell. Oh, ammo. Steel arrows. I'm going to try to keep those. Maybe we'll see how many steel arrows we can get. Oh, military gloves! And a bunker buster schematic? Oh, it requires... I hate those schematics because I can't use them. Uh, but I guess they're, they're something to look forward to. Ooh, let's um, make a bandage. Where are those freaking puppies? Heck, yes, please. Not going to do the gun safe, though. <laughs> Maybe we will. Got a freaking iron pickaxe. That is super duper awesome. And a compound ball. <laughs> oh, that is so amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right, let's see if we can uh, get this guy. It's 50 points each. That would only be 50 swings. That's not too bad. And you can see um, our stamina is actually going down. We've used up our little bonus uh, food stores. Let's get a little bit of stamina back. We're almost halfway through it. Oh, wow. Even with the, you know, the iron pick, it's going to take like all of this just to get just to get this safe. And we don't have any iron to repair this with. I guess we'll have to just keep it in case we do get some iron. Use it for safes only. Oh, it's just ammo. Such a shame. Um, we might actually keep those because there is a significant amount and, and try to sell them. Oh, look, arrows. All right, let's take a look around and see. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep that in reserve. <laughs> I think we have um, some, let's look around and make sure we didn't miss anything. What's in the stove? Nada. I don't think we checked in here. It's a false medicine cabinet. Okay. Um. I think we pretty much 
Oh, there's not even a... So there is a work table here. We're going to have to remember this. Um, let's go ahead and mark it as this. And we'll say saw. That, Because that could be useful. There are some recipes that you you can use like um, the fence because it only takes uh, where is it? it's not over there oh there are only maybe it's over here okay yeah if you make the the wood fence this only takes two but it's a barrier, so it's really cheap to make walls out of that instead of like the wood bars. So the wood bars take six, so definitely have to consider that. Let's have a look around. Make sure, oh yeah, the, the basement. There's usually a lot of freaking water in here. I see you. Yes, look at this. Three water barrels in here. Oh, yeah. Give it to me. And they have, um, oh, that was excellent. Let's go ahead and make a shovel because I definitely want to get the little bit of cobble that's in here. And also these are really good unless they've changed it. Look at all that rock. And it's only got 200 hit points. It's way better than uh, hitting a rock, for sure. You get um, almost 60, and, and this is with one point into the mother load, so... Yeah. Oh yeah, this is good. A good source of rock. I really like finding these because uh, they don't take near as long to harvest and you get more rock from them so it's pretty awesome. I completely forgot about the basement. <laughs> And we get a little bit more cobblestone rock. Only 17. Oh! There's a little bit of stone behind the ladder here. I don't know why I'm sneaking. Everything is... Uh-oh, uh we're thirsty now. Good thing we have some water. Oh yeah, there we go. And I guess we can go ahead and eat our one food. And we have a pot, so we don't need the can. Looks like that's it. That's it for this place. Um, I think there might be a trash can or something that I haven't looted. I think I saw one. Did I already? Yeah, I already looted that. Oh.
sometimes there's like a little okay yeah everything looks good so let's go back to our chest get our stuff I think I want to go check out that and we'll probably settle up on top that way we can look you can look down and uh, get a good lay of the land uh-huh uh-huh I heard you see if we can uh, see any flat areas around where we might be able to build a base oh ho, ho, yeah okay need to make sure we spend the point in master chef so we can make the bacon and eggs awesome okay let's do this get our bandage that clears up the spot uh, we definitely want those and that and that uh, the pots the duct tape the wrench all that leather iron pipes the nails oh that pain pill okay we got the duct tape we don't have enough for a forge just yet but that's okay because we can't make it we want our torch our land claim our pick this iron <laughs> this iron the feathers that little bit of money or mod and we can leave this some of this stuff um, actually yeah this will be for more torches I hate leaving water behind um, we don't have any guns or any ammo. Is there anything we're going to be needing immediately? Maybe the bones. The bones to make more daggers. Uh, all right. I think that's good. Let's go see if we can get into this house and get it secured before dark. Because <laughs> I do not want to be out at dark. It looks it looks like there's not really a lot of flat terrain in these parts. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe we just might need to go towards the town. Or just demolish this place <laughs> and build on it because that's about right okay where's my entrance probably by the road uh-huh okay let's go on the stairs so I don't have to jump there's desert over there Although, as far as biomes, I think I'd prefer the cold to the heat. Oh, seriously. Oh. Goodness, Mr. Chin. You've got a really hard head, bud. Alright, well, at least these guys are helping us out breaking this door down. 
Hello? Um, I might need to repair this. There we go. Now they're through. We just need to give them a little bit more time. Oh, come on. We need in here. on sneak mode. Oops. Here we go. Oh, it's big Bertha. Big mama. Stairs for. Okay, whew. <laughs> She's gone booty up. She's gone booty up. I think I hear a guy. Must have been mistaken. <gasps> Shh. There's usually somebody in this room, but I'm gonna try and I think there's somebody behind the desk. No, maybe that was one of the ones that got woke up. Take them a while to get through that door. Have at it, bud. Get all the plastic. What happened, little bud? You woke up? There you go. Supposed to keep pounding on that door while I loot. <laughs> I'm just getting a little bit of help here. A little bit of soup. See? Almost that whole door down all by itself. All right, let's get ready. All right, let's let her do the rest of the work. We're not going to be trying to. Oh, I don't think we'll have enough on our. Uh, We have enough on our iron pick to go through that safe. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and eat that soup. Ah, oh, that give us enough leather too, sweet. Oh, and that had a little bit of hydration on it as well. 
Sweet. So we don't need to drink. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let's make a chest and a campfire for when we get up. So I'll have enough room. Just, there's almost... There's only like two guys up here, I think. There they are. Pow, right in the kisser. And I think I hear something up top, but we're eventually going to go there. Yeah, he's already seen us. Let's go ahead and uh, get this door open. Ready. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. All right. That should be it. Um, we can go ahead and loot this up, and I'm going to climb up to the top. And set up a campfire and put oh yeah bedroll let's go ahead and get that going too and we'll use this as just like a temporary base until we can find um, something for our very own I don't know why I'm crouching now okay that was it that was pretty uh, <laughs> Anticlimatic. All right. Um, sometimes this ladder works, and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, what I like to do is, I, I think the zombies can jump now anyway, but I think it still creates confusion if you don't have that bottom one. But yeah, for some reason it falls, even though I guess technically it wasn't connected to the top block up there. So we'll have to come over here. <laughs> I'm going to fall down that. <laughs> Aha! Can I actually get that one too? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. I'm going to make a little campfire, put down the bedroll, <laughs> and hopefully you guys will come hang out next time. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye!